Well, here we are once again. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Costume Quest 2. I do like the intro quite a lot. I think it's quite nice. Especially the main menu as well. This is really lovely made. I like it a lot. But yeah, here we are. Fascinating indeed. Let's jump into the mysterious portal. And hopefully this will be it. Also, according to this, we are only missing three more costumes, if I understand the chart correctly. I hope we are not too close to ending the game already, because I'm hoping to do at least two more episodes. Also, let me quickly lower this. There we go. And yeah, in the previous episode we equipped the werewolf outfit for the first time. I don't think we tested it yet in a battle, but that's gonna happen eventually. I am pretty rich, but when I see how these elders are living, oh boy, I still have a long way to go. Who let a human child in here? This is a club for elite monsters only. I love to lord my candy over those who are less fortunate. I can have candy whenever I want, but I come down here for the vibes. Alrighty, alrighty. And the Repul GR Elder Children, how did you get in here? Did you acquire zipline technology? We are trying to get into Dr. White's compound. Do you know how? Of course I do. I even have a key, but this is not a good time. I am stressed out. Don't bother me now. What is stressing you out? Well, it's just that the Grabin Elder is withholding my candy delivery. I'm down to my last crate of king-size, full-size bars. He's totally cramping my style. Want us to pick it up for you? You would do that? That would save my business. Sure, if you let us borrow your key to Dr. White's compound. Way to make it sound not tantalizing anymore. Sorry, I cannot give you my key. Overlord White would revoke my candy license. I'm pretty sure there is nothing more to say on that matter that I can think of. Dang, we've been denied, but maybe, just maybe, if I switch to Jefferson, we can come to some sort of a agreement. Mr. Elder, if you don't have your deliveries, what good is your candy license? Maybe there is a chance Dr. White ruins you if you give us the key, but you are ruined for sure if you don't get your deliveries, right? I guess that is true, hmm. Okay, if you get my deliveries, I guess I can let you borrow the key to the compound. You will need to knock on some doors downtown to get most of them. Some of them are up on the rooftops. The Grabbin Elder is up there too. He's got the big fatty delivery. I need that one the most. Don't worry, we will figure it out. Be right back. So here we are. Let's switch back to the werewolf. And actually... Before I start doing the new section, I just came to a real realization. I wanna switch to this. Because in the previous episode, I vividly remember there was a rooftop somewhere around here that had the. Uh, place for the hook somewhere on it. I don't remember where it was. It wasn't here. I think it was on the other side of the town. I'm thinking maybe there is some sort of a secret over there, so let me go check it out real quick. Can you tell me what my toes look like? Oh, there is an enemy. That's what I get for sprinting, I suppose. Man, I wish I had the werewolf equipped. Oh well, this should be easy. Let's do a crook attack. No. 
nice. Uh, might as well do this. I do love the Pterodactyl. I think that's a really cool costume over or Sweet Justice. We came equipped. I guess I can finish this guy off. Why not? Why not? Why not? I think he's done for actually. That went nicely. Probably don't even need to heal after this battle. What is our level like? Um, almost 8. Well, not almost. It's gonna be a while, but we are getting there. We are getting there. I think the rooftop I am thinking about is maybe this one right here. Yes, this is the one. Where does this lead? Absolutely nowhere. Alrighty, alrighty. I just wanted to make sure. Because I wasn't quite convinced. Should I do another fight? You know what? Let's switch to Werewolf. I wanna see the moves. Hopefully we will get opportunity to use the special. That looks pretty cool actually. It's literally a werewolf. Alrighty. Claw attack. Not bad, not bad. He's scratched. I assume the claw attack makes him bleed. Maybe. It's pretty cool. Next turn we should be able to do the special. So I'm excited to see what that is all about. Alrighty then. Let's use the special on this guy. Night Terrors. Alrighty, just a straight up damage. Alrighty, alrighty. Not bad. I guess I'm gonna keep the werewolf equipped for a while. Might as well run with the new West costumes and such. I do like Pterodactyl and the superhero outfit too. So I, yeah, I guess this is the team I wanna run with for now. Seems about right. Alrighty, we need to switch to you. There we go. Time to do some deliveries. So yeah, today might be the final episode, we shall see. It is kind of hard to predict, but it's definitely looking like we are close to the end. Based on the fact that only three outfits remain. There is a invisible barrier, record treat. No candy, just me. That went as about I expected. Alrighty then. 
I guess I'm gonna attack this guy first. I hope we can find some healing in this new location. Quote on quote new because we already visited it in the previous episode, but only briefly. When we were looking for the werewolf. Just did so much damage, holy moly. Okay. Let's kill you. I love to get double amazing. Whenever that happens, it feels so satisfying. Next turn, he's dead for sure. And we will all survive, so that's nice. Also, this area gives you 750 XP, I just noticed. So we will level up quite quickly, I think. Hey, you need some creepy treat cards? Maybe later. Right now I need healing. You know what? It would be wise to go heal up. We have a healing right over here. So let's do that. I'm back to the downtown. Let's talk to you. I made my fortune on candy corn derivatives. I lost my ramp on my crispy trade futures. I guess I don't know how the market works. Think new in the news. Let me check what you are selling. Time is candy, apparently. Wizard upgrades, splash some bleach onto the wizard costume for more splash damage. That sounds nice. Don't hurt yourself with toasting skit. Too bad we are lacking in the candy department. Let's go check what's inside of here. Where oh yeah, is this the rooftop? I remember, I remember. Did we speak to you? Welcome to Grabbin Grotto. We don't see many small humans around here. We won't be here long. We are just here to pick up a delivery that you owe. Oh, that! I've got bigger ventures in the works at the moment. I'm over those fancy speakers deliveries, but I will tell you what. I need someone with some courier skills right now. You look like you could carry stuff, no? If you help me, I will give you what you want. Okay, what do you need? I run the biggest resort in town, but it's time for me to expand my business. I want to absorb Crestwaler Cave across the way. The Crestwaler Elder has agreed to sign his contract. Go get his signature and bring it back, then I will be the richest monster in the city. And I get half. What? Nothing, dear. Alrighty. Being rich is almost as fun as stuffing my face. Can we speak to the swimming guy? My skin is getting pruny. Definitely sounds like a skill issue. For sure, for sure. So, if I speak to everyone, eventually we will complete that quest, I believe. There are only four deliveries in this town. And we still are missing some kids from hide and seek. Hopefully we can find them. Eventually. Trick or treat. Ah, we are running this business right under Overlord White's nose. Nice, nice, nice. 
we've been already over here, my bad. So I guess that's everything from this side of the rooftops. Let's go through the tunnel. There is some healing if we need it, which we don't at the moment. Cannot get over there, not yet anyways. Okay, let's go this way. We've been here in the previous episode, but I don't remember if there were any doors over there. So I wanna go double check. Just in case. Alrighty then. We have a bunch of powers already, so let's start with this one. Then let's do this one. Another nice. I wish the counters were easier to do, because holding down the button is a bit chaotic for me. That's alright though. Can survive without the counters. We do have the power necessary. As long as we block properly not to die, we should be fine. Let's finish him with night terrors, why not? He survived? What the heck? Okay. I suppose the werewolf doesn't do as much damage as I thought. But he will once we upgrade him. If we ever get the chance. There is a door over there. Let me quickly heal up. It's nice. Where does this go? Absolutely nowhere, apparently. I didn't notice this in the previous episode, but there is a... There is one of the teachers with the kids over there, I think. Bunch of statues as well. Interesting, interesting. I assume that's gonna be the final area or something. Once we figure out how to open that big door. Trick or treat. You fell for my trap. One could argue that he fell for my trap. Is, is this a single person trying to fight a squad of three? Wow. Don't wanna say it too soon, but I think he doesn't stand much of a chance. I don't think he stands much of a chance. In fact, he died on the first turn. Easiest XP gain ever. Okay. This is how we get out of here. Might as well clear the pet. Nice. Pick up the candies that were on the floor. There is a child. How did you see me? It, I was practically entombed. It's not hard to notice glowing skin. We are freaking bonked. I'm gonna fight everyone I see because I wanna level up as much as I possibly can. 
I think I wanna defeat the guy at the bottom first, so let's focus fire on him. Let's focus fire on the first guy. He will for sure perish next turn. Dang, I pressed it too, too late. That's alright, that's alright. Happens to the best of us. Still win in the end. He just buffed himself. Instead of doing damage to us, he decided to basically give up. Because we are guaranteed to kill him now. To see it. Nice, nice, nice. Alrighty, so there is a chest. I got a card out of it. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. I need to be this in order to do this. And then this takes me back here. So we need a little bit of a look to look. Right, that's right. Let's go upstairs. This will take us back to where we came from, I'm pretty sure. How do we get over there? Hmm, there must be a different door, I suppose. Actually, never mind, it seems like the correct way. Inflatable tube man. Do you know who I am? Hi, Mr. Crestwell. I have something for you to sign. What's this? It's a contract. The Grabin Elder says he's buying your business. Just sign right here. I know I told him I would sell, but that was before that crazy Trobo put up his fancy billboard. He redirected all the traffic to this place and now I don't have any customers. There is no way I'm selling while my brand is undervalued. Tell the, the Grabin that the deal is off. How about a Jefferson? It sounds like there is nothing we can say to convince you to sign, Do, but is there anything we can do? Not unless you can convince that cheating Robok to sell me his billboard space. All the cars are heading to his casino, he's driving me out of business. I know he won't sell, but if I could get traffic back to my place, I will sign that contract. We shall go talk to him, be right back. Alrighty. Seems like it's gonna be a big old um, pet quest. I do want all the candy because I wanna buy upgrades. Let's go check what's in here. This indeed leads to the rooftop. We are freaking bonked. I'm surprised he didn't spot me when I ran a circle around him. I don't know why it took me so long to realize, but two, these are two separate types of teeth. We have drone and chomps. Not really sure what's the difference, but this one has the least amount of HP, so let's attack him first. This. 
might as well do Pterodactyl. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's throw a car on them. That's a lot of damage. This will insta kill him. It did, nice. No, oh, that was pretty good timing. Reynold is dead though. That's all right, we can go heal. That is all right. Okay. So, there is multiple ways for us to go. Let's try this way first. This takes us right to the healing. Nice. Now, I'm not too sure about where we can find the dude that apparently wants uh, the billboard. I'm not even sure which billboards they mean. Let me try talking to you. Any progress time is candy. We've got some leads. I think we might be able to close this deal. Well, why are you over here talking to me? Close it. Because I need to find the culprit. How do we get over there? Hmm. Let's go back down to the street level. Invisible barrier. Connectings, fancy pants. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go and purchase one of these upgrades. Let's do the wizard upgrade. Take care, kid. Somewhere else I cannot be discreet with you kids hanging around. And I'm gonna switch up the superhero for the wizard. There we go. It's Gandalf the White. It's Gandalf the White. Also, I wanna be the werewolf. Okay, there is one door. Three core three. We are running this business right under Overlord White's nose. Indeed we are. I am disgustingly rich. I used to just be disgusting. Begin my eye. Record read. You fell for my trap. Yo, Gandalf to White looks kind of sick actually. I like it. I like it, I like it. I wonder how much more damage his special does. There's only one way to find out. You can also damage the other ones. He's got like a permanent splash attack. I forgot. 
I do wanna have him in my team then. I think he's better than the super he heroine. Maybe, maybe. Like right there, the splash damage of the wizard kill the other enemy. This is definitely a good squad. Nice, nice, nice. He do be getting thirsty. There is a heal right over here too. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, we are on the place that we seen from the rooftops. Are you the last kid? Oh, good. My knees were getting sore. Hey, you found all of us. You are good. Here is your prize. It's nice, nice. Do love getting upgrades. Under construction, come back soon to behold another historical accomplishment by Overlord White DBS. Come back in a year to see my sixth masterpiece. Why did it? Overlord White DDS completes his vision of making the world a dental utopia for humans. A generation later, Overlord White DDS makes good on his promise. Repudians are more prosperous now than any previous point in their history. We actually have some deep lore over here. It's cool. Your teacher is paid good candy to spout these lies. Use your noodle. Now, now, can't you see I'm orating? I think I want to be like Grandfather White when I grow up. I bet I could catch a pigeon. It smells funny here. I don't like it. Oh my gosh, they should call this place Snoozeville. I like it when Duncan talks about farts. I should have brought my sketchbook. This is cool. This is boring. And I guess all this stuff is true. Why would they go out uh, to all this trouble to make it up? I like to see that every single kid has a completely different opinion. And then there is this one random one that's just thinking about farts. You know? Pretty, pretty funny. Heroic young Oral White DDS defeats the witch oppressors to liberate the Repugians. Oral White DDS and the Repugian signed the Candy Act of 1986, separating humans of the biggest blight on society and setting the Repugians up for prosperity. Orel White DDS begins the construction of new Repugia to house the burgoing Repugian population. This, this has been going on for multiple years. It's interesting to know. Unfortunately, I must have missed a doorway or something because there is nothing else. Happening over here. I need to somehow figure out how to get to that other roof over there. I assume I missed a pathway or something. We already knocked here, I believe. Been over here. We've been over here as well. We did this. 
This is where I must have made some sort of a mistake. Oh yeah, there is a whole section over here. And also this. Which leads back down here. Never mind then. It's like a one giant puzzle of sorts. Okay. Let's explore over here. Yeah, this is the place I missed. Okay, okay, okay. I'm dancing because I'm sorry. This is my favorite jam. I lost touch with reality. I am a mover and a shaker. Wow, even humans have heard of Throwbook Towers. My advertising is working. We are actually here to talk about that. We are here on behalf of the Crestweiler Elder. You are obviously never done business with a Throwbook. Always open with some laughs. It's one of the seven habits of highly effective Throwbook. Um, why did the kitchen cross the road? Did I say kitchen instead of chicken? Why did the chicken cross the road? You aren't going to tell me any jokes I haven't read in the tome of throw books. You have to find another way to make me laugh. Well then, I have a clown. That's kind of funny, maybe a little more of that will do. Ha ha ha, now you've done it so many times it's funny again. I haven't laughed like that in a while, thanks for that. Great introductory laugh, now let's start business. The Crestweiler Elder wants to rent your billboard space. That Ninkompu. Ah, he thinks he can steal my advertising ideas. I'm always two steps ahead of him, what a terrible business monster. Okay, tell you what, that bird brain I'll rent my billboard space to him if he pays for 10 years in advance. You will do it great, he'll be very happy to hear that. He will at first, anyway, have him digitally sign this rental agreement. It will automatically transnebulate the candy to my account. Cool, cool, cool. Well, while we are here, we might as well... Do some trick or treat. We are running this business right under Overlord White's nose. They are all saying the same thing. Also, I forgot to switch to Worm. Okay, where does this take us? It's a shortcut, I suppose. Pigeons in the way. But there is a piñata. We love to get some piñatas going. 700 candy. Not quite enough to get upgrades. But we are getting there slowly and surely. We managed to get that throwback elder to sell you his billboard space. You did. He would have given up all that business. Well, he said you have to pay for 10 years in advance. Gladly, I will make back enough to cover the difference when I sell my business to that grubbin. Where do I sign? Nice. Aha, now my brand is worth crazy candy. Give me that grabbing contract so I can get rid. Wait a minute, what's this clause? I have to guarantee profit for five years or refund the difference? Hmm, that's risky. Oh well, I've got the billboard for ten years. What could go wrong? Let's get this contract back to the grabbing elder. Also new people over here. Dancing because sorry. I'm a mover and a shaker, lost touch with reality. Those are the guys that were originally over here. This is my favorite gem. Let's see any new dialogue. Selling advertising space that to that bird brain might be my master stroke. Hmm, 
I smell some sort of a scheme. But it's a bit too early to tell, I suppose. Either way, let's go tell the good news to the fella who originated this quest. He's right over here. Here is your signed contract. Everything looks in order. Here is your delivery as promised. I'm going to go from super rich to mega rich with this one signature. I even noticed that the Bart is drawing more business with that new billboard. My timing couldn't be better. I am such an amazing business monster. What the heck? What is this? That throwbog double crossed me. No, I'm ruined. That's how I do business, suckers. He just put a new billboard directly in front of the old billboard. You know what? That's a decent business move, I would say. That's the last one. Let's get this back to the Recturia Elder. And I guess with that we are done with the downtown. Only took us like 40 minutes. It's been quite the journey. Wait a minute, this is not the way out of here. I need to go this way. I remember. Okay. I don't think I can afford anything. Let me check though. Hmm. Yeah, let's not buy anything right now. Let's save up for the upgrades. I think the upgrades are the most worth it. It took some doing, but we got all of your deliveries. Just in time, I served my last goozer a few minutes ago. Take good care of this key. If you do get caught by Overlord White, you didn't get it from me. Your secret is safe. We leveled up as well. Nice. Don't see a quest to go back to the bird training. So we should be fine to just open up this and see where this leads. This will not do. This will not do at all. What do you think Overlord White would say if he saw this flaw in his security? DDS? What did you say? Oh, I just meant uh, Overlord White hates it when you leave off the DDS. Are you saying that I don't know what Overlord White wants? Overlord White wants security, that's why he put me in charge. But this place looks decidedly insecure. What if some human just waltzes in through that door? What then? Run? No, you don't run. Oh, how for Jesus. For, for two witches? What the heck? How do you pronounce that? For two witches, I suppose. Looks like I will get to show you buffoons how, do, uh, how to do an extraction. Is this a boss fight? I think this might be a boss fight. I can see why Overlord White banned costumes. You look ridiculous. I'm going to smack you around a little and then throw you in a cell where you belong. Prepare yourself for an awesome display of my power. You only have 2000 HP though. Who wants the next stumping? Hey football, sit, stay, now get ready to play dead.
Alrighty then. This might be rougher than I expect, but we shall see how it goes. So far so good. Who wants the next thumping? You looks like you could use a shave. Why is he targeting my werewolf? What did he do to you? Wow, that was a good attack. I've got another tank where the any takers you I'm going to knock the pointy head of with those something something. His costume design is quite something. He's got a bunch of dentures basically glued to him. Doomstick. Nice. I've got another tank queued up. Any takers? Looks like you could use a shave. So he's going for the wolf again. Next time he gets hit, he will die. So I need to be careful with my wolf. That's for sure. Hopefully this boss battle doesn't have two stages, otherwise I am screwed. Okay. We'll look at that pointy head off with these pointy teeth. Alrighty then. I think we will win. Unless he's got a second stage. This is so embarrassing, I'll be fired for sure now. What am I gonna do? I don't have any other marketable skills. Ah. That was easy. You buffoons. We've got to stop them before they sound the alarm. Mom, Dad. No, kids, stay back. Oh no, we are trapped. Well, I guess that's it for us. You guys were our last hope. At least we are all together again. Don't worry, we'll bust you out of here somehow. I mean... All I need to do is this. Apparently. That was easy. I'm not going in there, it's too dark. We need a light. I think the wizard is the light source, yeah, I remember. You mean those twerps just walked right into the cell? Yep, 
All I had to do was poke a button. Aha, Overlord Wild will be very pleased. You forgot to say DDS. Right, I always forget that. Well, he would be pleased anyway. That's a really creepy... Yeah, maybe I'll get a promotion. A really creepy camera angle. Don't hold your bread grabbing, you might see a few extra sour dumps, but I doubt it. I will take some extra sour dumps. Nothing is tastier than a handful of sour dumps. Say, how did those dwarves over defeat Operion? I don't know, but I'll bet they cheated. Must have. Operion is unstoppable. He used to bully me when we were kids. No one messed with that guy. Those dwarves were mess, sure messed with... What? Yeah, they must have cheated. There is no way. But then once they got in, they just waltzed right into a cell for me. Haha. <laughs> you mean those dwarves just walk right into the cell? Okay, that's... I think now it's repeating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just wanted to get all the dialogue. You know how it be. Where are we? I don't know, but that ladder looks like a way out. There are some bones over here. Hey, there is a note here on the ladder. I heard that you made it into Overlord White's compound. I managed to infiltrate the stash, some custom pieces in his garden. Use this costume to help you defeat his laser gates. You will find that pattern on the back side of this note. Now that I think about it, I should have just left the costume pieces down there with the note. Whoops. Godspeed, Corvus. Alrighty then. Let's go to the compound. Sounds like a plan. That's one hacking creepy fountain. We have to find a way to get mom and dad out of that cell. Yeah, let's find that building. We got costume material sheet. Alrighty, alrighty. We got costume material tech cloth. Ooh, it's gonna be some sort of a robot. It seems. How exciting. Another child over here. I thought I already got them all. You found me. We are trespassing illegally and hiding from the guards. Wanna play? If you find all six trespassers, you get a prize. Spare usual, I suppose. Make sure to get all the candy you possibly can. Traits are not key. How the heck do I get this? I think I must I must have to drop from top maybe. I know I'm not supposed to be in here, but I'm desperate to find a smoothies card. Have you seen one? I don't have one, but if I did I'd be happy to trade it. Well I have a tongue tie card with your name on it if you can find one. Alrighty, alrighty. Gathering the side quests. As per usual. Wow, you are like a toothbrush that gets into those hard to reach places. That's one way to put it. That is one way to put it for sure. Okay, 1,333. Let's see what he sells at the moment. Have a peek at the goods. He's got two maps. I'm gonna buy both. 
Parrow upgrade, Wolfman upgrade. I really want to Wolfman upgrade, I think. Yeah. Did I mention that I got zero return policy? Yeah. Okay. Get freaking bonked. Definitely Wolfman upgrade is something I wanna get. Maybe this fight will give me enough to buy. It's only one way to find out. They have a lot of HP in this area, I just noticed. A lot more than in the previous areas. But that's alright, we will manage. We will manage. Let's attack this guy. Basically a double kill because of the poison, you'll have to see it. And sure, let's do this. Final blow. Nice. We got 200 candy. I think we might be able to afford the upgrade I wanted. So let's go buy it. Letterman jacket. Nice. Take care, kids, somewhere else. I can be described with your kids hanging around. Did that just give me the glasses? I don't think I had the glasses before. Either way, pretty cool. This is indeed how we get down here. Savage Snail. We fought a bunch of these already. Should be not too difficult. Especially now that we are upgraded. Beginning. He took a lot of damage actually. Pretty, pretty cool. And the wizard finishes the job. Love to see it. Two thousand XP, nice. We will be level nine in no time. Yo, ghost outfit. I wonder if this costume will help us bust my mom and dad out. Let's go try. Oh, it makes you invisible. 
That's pretty cool. Eh? That is pretty cool. You know what? You will be wolf now. It's the ghost, the wizard, and the wolf man. Sadly, the, the ghost isn't upgraded yet. That will come eventually. I need this. King size, full size bar. Alrighty, alrighty. Before I go bust out the parents, I wanna make sure I collected everything I can collect in this area. And I also wanna make sure I defeated all the enemies, because experience is always nice. I don't think this armor is the right size. I am what? Bored? I wish I had some candy. Don't we all see if that new costume will get us through those lasers? It worked. Yes. Security. Costume violators. Yo, that's a cool design. I like the ghost. I wonder what the special for the ghost will look like. Barf attack. Interesting, interesting. One would think that the attacks of enemies would just go through the ghost, not damaging him at all. But oh well, that would make it too boring, I suppose. Yeah, literally the only new thing in this costume is the pair of glasses. Still pretty cool though. Uh, let's do lightning on you. Just to get rid of him. And I think we win. I think we win. Surprisingly enough, with not much damage done to us. The Reynolds took a small little hit. Duck, you are it. If we fight everyone in this area, we are bound to get that card for the trade, I think. It would mean another quest sorted out, so we might as well go for that as well. Time to see the special of the ghosts. It's, it's not an attack. Let's use it on... Haley, I suppose. Um, 
I'm not sure what that does for us. Doesn't seem very helpful though. I might switch back to the Pterodactyl instead. He still got poisoned, so it's not giving him like invisibility or anything. Also, 1200 experience is pretty good. Okay, now that I know what the ghost is, I'm gonna switch to the pterodactyl. I need to go heal up. I'm pretty sure there was a healing over here. Bon. I hope they don't respawn infinitely. In the previous areas it seemed like once you defeated a certain amount they stopped uh, appearing. I assume the same is true over here but who knows. We might as well use the doomstick whenever it's available. No real reason to be saving it for later. At least in my opinion. Only got four HP, what the heck? No Varenda. Definitely stronger than before. At least we are getting the candy and such. I'm gonna be able to buy all the upgrades I want. Which is all of them because I wanna do completionist playthrough, you know. It's for sure. Okay, so we were over here. Top secret warehouse. I was gonna bonk him, but he turned around. Oh well. Oh well, oh well. Only one. You are about to be in a world of pain. Not 
that's for sure. First round KO, love to see it. Especially when it still gives you over thousand experience. It's just lovely. Ooh, a chest. With a card. Flingolings. Flingolings. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's see what's on the other side. If anything. I assume there would be something. Maybe it just loops around to the other side. Either way, two enemies should be easy to deal with. He's gonna die next turn for sure. Did he really just survive with one HP? Like, holy moly. I guess it'd be like that sometimes. The wizard's splash damage will take care of it though. Another W. Now we have almost enough candy to buy another upgrade. It's the main reason why I am doing this. Quick little farming. There we go. There is a door. Ready then. Research land. How did you find me? Where my teeth to white? Three out of six. Dental compound. I guess that was literally just a little area where you can get a kit sorted out. That's the main entrance, I assume. You found me, now what? Four out of six. Roar? Oh my god, there was a mole that I didn't even see. Alrighty then, we fought some of you already. Shouldn't be too difficult. Although 700 HP and we are not fully healed, this might actually be ugly. But hopefully we got this. Hopefully we got this. There 
we go, get freaking blocked. Also, hello there, Vorix. Art at work right now, I see, I see. That's all right. It be like that sometimes. It is giving good results, so that's good to know. That's good to hear, I, I mean. 2000 experience. Nice, nice, nice. I definitely need to go heal up. I think that much is clear. Private residence, I assume that's where the final boss will be. Most likely. I guess our retinas aren't approved. Yes, they are not, but you know what is approved? A quick little heal. And a quick little trade. You know what? Let's buy the cards. There we go. Let me check the current card progress we have the entire first page entire second entire third we are missing one in four then we are missing three in fifth and do we by any chance have your card is this the smoothies card you are looking for that's it my gosh what i've gone through to find that thing will you take this tong ties card for it yes i will and now if we look at it again we are now missing only two over here okay 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 with that smoochies card you have restored my hope for humanity i'm happy to help always happy to help are there any more enemies or did we kill them all I swear I saw one when I went back there. One of those walking teeth. There we go, get bonked. I think there is a set amount patrolling the area, most likely. This might be rough. I think we will be fine. Might as well do this. That's nice, nice. should kill one of them with the splash. Probably not right away, but eventually. perish now. I think in these games it's kind of easy to get overpowered. 
but if you are clumsy you can still lose quite easily. It's also all about choosing the correct outfits for the task. I'm sure there are some good builds with the defensive ones or the healing ones, but I prefer just the ones that do straight up damage even with the specials. And it's been working out quite nicely for me so far. Let's I don't think I can go over here to talk to the water can fella. And the enemies seem to respawn infinitely. Alrighty, alrighty. Good to know, good to know. I suppose... Should we do I guess we can go rescue the adults from the prison. Since the response seem to be infinite, let's switch to the ghosts. I assume this is how you get there. Let's switch back to the... What was I again? The bird, I think. I didn't do anything, they just disappeared. You are doomed, my friend. Nice knowing you. Overlord White is going to have you put to sleep, haha. <laughs> Not if you don't say anything. I don't have to, those warps are gonna be running Kamok soon enough, word will get around. Not if I find them first. How are you going to find them if you are talking to me? You have a pea brain, I don't even know why I talk to you. Because I help smuggle candy in for you, that's why. Oh yeah. But if I have a pea brain, maybe I shouldn't use it all upon smuggling your candy. What? No, I was just kidding. I didn't mean it. You are my best friend. I look forward to our conversations every day. And you have a huge head, so it stands to reason that you would have a big brain too. So we are still friends, right? Right? Really, you don't have a pea brain. I was just using uh, abbreviation. You have a P perfect brain? Listen to your squeak. What? I wield so much power over you with my candy, haha. <laughs> you meanie, I work in the dental hygiene lab. The only department that doesn't allow candy. What am I supposed to do? Okay, be quiet, I'll bring to you your candy. I was just playing. Now where was I? Oh yeah, those little humans get out of the cell. And now it repeats. Alrighty, alrighty, okay. Get freaking booped. I do love that dialogue. It is quite fun to read. Alrighty then. These ones are weaker than the ones we fought before. Surprisingly enough. And they don't even do that much damage. Interesting. I guess that's because this is story related and they want you to succeed or something. Either way we won. And that was nice. Only 100 experience. Well, that explains why it was so easy. 
Hey, what was all that noise? You have to use that computer console over there to open the cells. Should I call security? Oh yeah, you are security. I'm not sure what button it was. His grubbing fingers were too chubby. I'm waiting for more dialogue. Hey, is everything cool over there? Also, 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 is this the time wizard? Just smash it, alright then. Sounds like a good plan. Mom, Dad, Hailey, kids, you guys are amazing. Yeah, I thought we were going to spend eternity in there. Let's get out of here before more guards come. Time out. You are the kids that took my timepiece. I've had nothing but time in that cell to think about it. You are not getting out of here without a remake. I didn't realize the time wizard could talk, to be honest. Did he even talk when we originally fought him? You pipsqueeds think you are so smart? Chronoculus? I might not have my timepiece, but I've been doing a ton of push-ups. I am raped. Yo. Imagine being a raped time wizard. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me, but I think we should be fine. We have a wizard of our own, after all. Therefore you shall not pass. I'm not really using the combat cards at all, I am aware. But there is like no need to use them, we are winning. We haven't really reached any roadblocks for not using them. I think the first game with the stamps was a bit more well implemented. Because here you have to sacrifice a turn to play a card, which to me personally seems like a waste of a turn. But who knows, who knows. How I know is we are about to win. He froze my wizard, oh no. But yeah, even this boss did barely any damage to us. And we didn't need to use any cards to win. How did you defeat me? I cannot wrap my head around this. I'm so disappointed. I would be like that sometimes. That reminds me, now we have to figure out where the clock is hiding. We overheard that grabbing guard talking to someone at the research lab about it. Yeah, it's on the other side of the compound. We need to get that clock before they fix it. Well, what are we standing here for? Let's go. 
I did wanna go shit with the child that was locked away, but we can do that later. We cannot tangle with those guards, you'll have to get them out of the way first. Piece of cake. Can I go back? Yes, I can. Ah, oh, I thought you were a guard. Five out of six. Nice. Alright, yeah. That's all I wanted. Let's switch back to the pterodactyl. Let's go. Let's do a hicking boop on this guy. This could be rough. I think we will manage to definitely attack the one at the bottom first. That's always the most dangerous fella. Nice, nice. Cool, cool, cool. I am a lit. Not in the fun way. We got this though. I was hoping he would die from the splash. Do well. Almost at level 9. One more fight will push us over the edge. Which is nice. Gonna be you, I assume. Get freaking boot. I think I'm gonna destroy the Magician first as well. Those seem to always be the main danger to us. And I guess... We can do the big one next. I'm happy he didn't attack Vren. It was his last mistake. Magician should be able to kill them all. I'm just gonna use this. Well, Vren didn't survive, but that's alright. We level up. Nice, level 9. Okay, let's go heal up. 
I'm already refreshed. I guess when you level up, you get full heal, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna buy these two. Okay. That clock is our only hope. We've got to get it to before they fix it. This reminds me of the end of Galactic Skirmish XXE IV. What is XX stand for? Oh wait, you haven't seen that movie yet, I guess. Would that be... 24? If it would be 1X, it would be 14, right? So XX would be 24, maybe? I don't know. Except we are the Xenogoblins, haha. <laughs> I don't remember how to do that counting. I just remember from 1 to 9. Well, from 1 to 10, I suppose. Anything above that is confusing to me. Since I don't use it on a daily basis. I remember I used to know it somewhat well back in school. Long time ago when we were taught about it. That was in like the, I don't know, fourth grade. Fourth grade history. Something like that. Let's do a doomstick. He's absolutely cooked. No way. Easy peasy. I will go heal though because they managed to damage each of us a little bit. No. I just wanted to go heal. Dang it. Well, that's alright. It's just too deep. We should be fine. We should be fine. Especially since one of them is already down. Save the specials for whatever the next battle is. Since we are guaranteed to win here, anyways. Okay, now I can finally heal. Get freaking bonk. Nice, nice, nice. Mm. 
It's just a single fella, he will die on the first turn, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he doesn't stand a chance. Poor fella. At least he tried his best, bro. Okay, so where are we going next? I assume this way. So I need to do a bong on you. Should be fine. Let's do the specials. Let's do the specials. I guess on you. It's kind of a waste because it's an overkill. But at least he's gone. He's the most dangerous one, I would argue. Finally victorious. Nice, nice, nice. This seems like it's gonna be the last fight. Since they wanna sneak into the laboratory. The clock must be in there somewhere. You've got to get it back before they figure out how to fix it. We'll get the cloak, but you guys need to be careful out here. There are guards everywhere. Don't worry, we will wait for you underneath that fountain if you showed us. Good luck. They are going straight for the enemy. Oh, what the heck? I didn't even have a chance to look around before getting attacked. Yo, it's ninja birds. Progressive chemist. Okay, okay. Let's see how these guys fight. They seem a bit tanky. Let's do Doomstick. Magic Magic. Yo, he lit all of us on fire, what the heck? It's a bit overpowered. Is a bit overpowered, I would say. Mm. 
I might need to run back outside just to get some heals. It's alright. What are we gonna use the clock for anyways? To travel back in time and prevent this future from happening, I assume. Which means we should probably finish all the collectibles in the future. Before we get the clock, otherwise we are risking it's locked. Otherwise we are risk risking that there will be no... It's locked. Well, I guess each door is locked, so it's not like we can really explore around here at the moment. I do wanna go heal though. Alrighty then. Here we freaking are. There is a scientist over there. Giant robot over here. With a scientist hammering in two shaped armor. Alrighty, alrighty. This is locked, of course, of course. So let's become a ghost. Uh, there we go. Get freaking bonked. Yo, the middle one looks cool. Senior technician. Okay, okay. I'm gonna drop an egg on you. the tragic magic again. Dash of Splend. Villain Penicillin. Oh my god, he can heal them. That's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. Boat about to die from the eggs. Dang it. That's alright. That's alright. Take up on you. That should give us double kill. Indeed, indeed. Nice. We might die here actually. This is a rough fight. This is a rough fight. Mm -hmm. 
Unless this will kill him, I'm gonna die. Yo, let's go. That was clutch. That was freaking clutch. The chemists are no joke. You found a green key card. No, one of them is over there. I need to sneak out of here. Without him noticing. I need to go heal up. Nice, nice, nice. Now, I don't know where the green card is supposed to go into. But I assume it's probably the other door on this side. Yes, indeed. You get booked. Okay, three of them, we will probably be set on fire once again. But that's fine. That's fine. I think he will die. He did indeed die, nice. I don't know why they healed themselves instead of attacking. Just a scratch would do more damage, to be honest. But that's alright. We won. This time I don't think we even need to go heal because we have plenty of HP. Okay. Orange Kika. Orange you glad to be victorious. I assume orange is upstairs. Yo, there was a fountain over here this whole time. What the heck? Yo, they are making costumes over here. Butterfly costume, hot dog costume, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle costume. And apparently the hot dog one is finished. Interesting. I wonder why are they making costumes when they banned them? Is there gonna be some huge plot twist or something? Uh, let's do this. This. Let's do this. Yo, oh, he's got only 3 HP, holy moly. This will kill him, therefore. This. Nice. Got a lot of splash damage. 
Let's put the... I think the splash damage got him. No, I pressed. I I I accidentally double pressed the button. Therefore, it didn't work. Oh well. Happens to the best of us. It's for sure. Not every fight will go flawlessly, that's for sure. I could use the special, but I'm gonna save it for later. We are almost finished here anyways. There we go. to do some healing. That's the time machine. Alrighty, alrighty. Being fast. This shouldn't be too difficult. Um, let's do... I guess let's attack the chemist first. He can heal them. Therefore he should be perished first. like this will go fine. Oh, you are dead. One more to go. as well make it happen faster with the special. He didn't die from the poison and such, but oh well. Sometimes it be like that. When we get the Hodo costume, or is that just for show? I can grab it apparently. Yo, I have become hot dog. This would go well with the fries from the first game. Which we sadly don't have. Yo, I am the hot dog man. I am the hot dog man. A jumbo hot dog, my prayers have been answered. What? Hey, you are not a savory hot dog, you are an unsavory trespasser. Um, it's a three-headed hot dog. I wonder if that's because hot dogs are made out of all kinds of meats. So it's three beasts. 
fused into one with three condiments as well. That is definitely quite the unexpected costume to find in this game. I love it. Let's see what it can do. Yo, that's powerful. That's powerful. We have basically the movie night combo. We have the wizard and the wolfman and the hot dog, you know, from a movie night. Kind of. It goes well together, I would say. I just hope the special attack is powerful. Probably will not figure that out in this episode, but maybe in the next one. Maybe in the next one. Alrighty, next turn he's dead. No matter what. I wonder what would be the upgrade for the hot dog. Putting some chili on top of it, maybe. Only 100 XP, what the heck. That feels like a repo. You recovered the broken clock. The door is shut, we are trapped in here. They will be coming for us, we've got to get out of here. Let's look around for a way out. I hear them coming, hurry. I don't hear anyone coming, to be fair. There do be a hole in the wall, so. Thank goodness you are okay. Did you find the clock? Yep, we found it. I hope you can fix it. It's not actually that complicated if you understand quantum theory and basic clockmaking principles. Uh, the hands are jammed. It's only going to open the same time hole from before. Do you mean to the bayou? I think so, but that won't do us any good. Yeah, that's after Dr. White stole the talisman. So what now? Well, either we find a way to unstick those clock hands or... Or we have to get the talisman from Dr. White. Well, snoop around to see if you can locate the talisman. I'll keep working on the clock. Okay, bye, right back. Be right back. But what if I wanna go back to the bayou because there was one collectible over there that I wanted to get? Did you see it anywhere? See what? The talisman, silly. Oh no, not yet. We are about to go have another look. Have you located the talisman? Not yet. Oh my goodness. So what do we do? And how do we get back? Because there was that thingy on the rooftop in the very very first past area. Where do you think Dr. White would hide the talisman? Well, we know it's not in the security building. We know it's not in the laboratory. It must be over here. Then. I don't know how we are going to get in there. But at least we know where the talisman is. Let's go tell my mom and dad. Alrighty then. I got the time hole open, but it's useless. It's the same one from before. We found the talisman, but we are not getting to that either, unless you know how to hack a Rentina scanner. 
No, I'm not that good. You can only get through those with the uh, right eyeballs. Hey, with this time hole we can go back to get Aurel's eyeballs. I want this to be over too, but that's a little gross. No, we can convince him to come back with us. That sounds like a long shot to me, but I'll leave the time hole open if you want to try it. We are going to go back to the house so I can use my tools on this clock. Guys, I don't want to leave you hanging, but I think I'm gonna go with my parents. Sorry. That's okay, we will catch up with you later, Haley. Thanks for your help. Oh no, so will it just be the two of us? See you soon, guys. Be careful. Dr. White is more dangerous than he looks. Good luck trying to convince Oral. Is that the junior dentist that we saw? I think that's him. I'm kind of bad with names. Let's go back to the past. Holy moly, says Gomer. You found my secret hiding spot, don't tell, don't tell anyone about it, okay? Okay. I just found this piece of candy down here in the sewer, I've been debating, but I think I'm gonna eat it. Do you think that's a bad idea? I think it's probably fine. I wouldn't if I were you, who knows where it's been? Oh, I see, you just want it for yourself, get away from me. Leave me alone, this is my candy, I found it, I'm totally going to eat it to spite you now. Fair enough, fair enough. So we can jump between the past and the future. And we are in the French Quartier. How are we supposed to find Aurel? And if we do, why would he come back with us? Well, we might as well start at his house, right? Right, we can figure out the rest when we get there. Seems like a waste of something. Let me go find that rooftop while we are here, because that's something that's been bothering me. Since like... Two episodes ago. This is it. Please tell me this will be worth it. It's a card. Nougat Nuggets. If we check. Yo, we got every single card in the game already. Which tells me that we are very close to the end of the game. And yet. And yet. I feel like. This should be the end of the episode for now, because we once again reached the two hour mark. Which in my opinion is the perfect time to save the game. So let me found a spot where I can quick save it. There it is. The game has been saved. And thank you so much for stopping by for this third episode of Costume Quest 2, also known as the seventh episode of the franchise as a whole. I'm heavily, heavily enjoying it, and I'm excited to see what awaits us in the next one, which I assume will be the final one. Until then, though, as per usual. I hope you enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.